Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Mama Shmo's Reviews, and in today's video, I'll be sharing a compilation of books that I found from watching a YouTube channel. She does a lot of Charlotte Mason inspired resources on her channel, and that's how she teaches her kids. She has older kids, and then she has a kid that is in kindergarten, so I was really inspired by her video with these antiquated books that were made in the 1900s. These are really great resources for people that want to do Charlotte Mason for their young kids and they just want to keep it simple and old school. It's really, really, really interesting. So I got really excited about it and I purchased it through um, Harvard Bookstore, which is a online like place where you can like get the reproduction of old library books. So I wanted to share a little flip through and just talk about what I have here. So if you're interested in teaching your kids this way, this is a really great resource that you can do alone or you could just supplement. So this is a autumn book. There are three books. You get autumn, spring, and winter. And then obviously summer they don't have because that's when the kids were off. And this is a month by month book. So this is like a thicker book that goes through like all the months and some activities and poems that you can read. And this is an all year around book that was really a nature book. So I will start with this little book. It's, this was also written in 1896. This is the table of contents for this book. It talks about plants, insects, and spiders. They talk about animals and the preparation for winter. So they're just very cute little stories that go along with all of these really pr pretty illustrated pages. So this talks about the corn. I've read a few of these to my kids and they seem to like it. So this is a really fun like insect book and books about animals and plants. So this is basically like a nature reader. So if you are looking for more nature readers, I know there's a few out there that people have gotten um, Bird Burgess book. So this is kind of like that. But this was made in 1896. This one's a really cool one, but I really love the illustrations that go along with it and they're very simple reads. And then I discussed it with my daughter and it's a great way to do science in a Charlotte Mason type of a way. So this is the nature book that I would say, but it's called All the Year Round. This one is the month by month books. This one's like a thicker book. Oh yeah, this was 1914. And this is talking about just the autumn months. I just got it for autumn. I really would love to have a winter one now since it's winter time, but I got this before I moved, so September, November, October. And what it talks about is nature study, stories, myths, songs, poems, notable dates, important birthdays, patriotic days, biographies, drawings, busy work calendars, blackboard material, and exercises. As you can see at the beginning, there's a lot of like pictures and illustrations. They talk about the child's relation to the surrounding world of nature and mankind, autumn, winter, and spring, and it talks about what they talk in, about in autumn for the nature, society, and state for each season. And I like how they break it out. It's really cool. Very old school, and that's why I was intrigued by this book. Even if you don't use this in your homeschool, it's just a great read for parents, and you can incorporate little bits of it. If you are going the Charlotte Mason way, or if, even if you're not and you're eclectic like me, it has a little quote, has some picture studies here, and this is their calendar that you can make on your chalkboard, so it's pretty neat. They give you some ideas. They do all of these fun little languages and poems, and they also do like sheet music that go along with some of the nature. They show you how to do freehand paper cutting. And you can see there's a song here. This is the second week of autumn. So you could follow this book to a T. Uh, they also talk about just the plants and the birds and the animals and the story of milkweed, dandelions, and seeds. They show you how to make a basket. So there's a lot of really fun activities in here. They show you how to weave paper weave, which is really cool. So there's a lot of things that maybe are lost throughout the years that we don't do anymore that are, that are really fun to look at. But they're, like you can see, every week they have 
things for the kids to study and songs, the calendars, how to draw a cat. There's some stuff for October. We definitely do a lot of fun activities for the harvest. They talk about Thanksgiving. This is the last book that I'm going to share with you guys called The Autumn Months. And this is a book that is like a day-by-day -day book. And this is something that is more like a day-by-day -day lesson plan for people. And they published this in 1907. It's for September, October, November. And I really like it because if you are into Charlotte Mason and you want to just um, use this for like morning talks and just for some materials to use as a guide, this is a great option. I love the little morning talks and all the questions that they have for the kids. They talk about weather and geography, story for oral reproduction. They do busy work and a lot of fun little art projects that are very basic, but super um, great, I guess, as far as like their fine motor skills go, cutting and everything like that. So I'm just gonna do a little flip through to show some of the morning talks. This one's talking about flowers. They show a little picture study at the horse fair and they'll have questions about in the book. We're gonna be talking about a weather vane here and how to make one. So it's really, really neat. As you can tell at the beginning, they talk a lot about weather and plants. So there's themes that go on in this book that the teacher actually created for you. They have a little morning riddle, conversation lesson, geography, they talk about Chinese. They have a lot of questions about China and then they have some busy work there. And they even break it down where they are gonna be doing the recess there. And then they share what they're doing, what they're gonna be doing for after the recess. So this is just a quick little flip through to share with you guys like some of the cool little things in here. And like I said before, you can take little bits of it or use little morning talks for inspiration. But I just thought it was a sweet little book. They're not too expensive, about $10, maybe a piece. And it's just a great way to see what they did back in the days and take some stuff that you think would be fun for your children. Or you could follow it every day if you want to. So this is very, um, very fun to look at to see how they did their school and how they talked about Thanksgiving and the history of pilgrims they have here. And they just really like the simplicity of it. Like I said, the morning talk, the questions, the little poetry that they have and poems that are very classic. So I hope you guys like these little videos. I realized when I started my YouTube channel, I really love sharing with you guys the things that I'm loving and the books and resources that I'm loving as a new homeschool mom to kids. And I really love digging into new books all the time to change things up a bit. And I hope you guys like these series of book reviews that I'm doing, and I'll be doing a lot more. If you guys like these, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what other things you guys would like to see in the future. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to see you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.